The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here in DraftKings Sportsbook, one of the official top-rated sportsbook apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. You can bet on the whole tournament, bet on your home team, especially if you live in North Carolina. Online sports betting is available to you now, so that means DraftKings is available to you now. So if you live in North Carolina, why don't you bet on your North Carolina? the Tar Heels. Uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. New customers can bet five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets only if you use DraftKings Sportsbook with code VOCH, V-O-C-H, VOCH. The crown is yours. And we back today. We're here to take a look at Talisi Fawaga, right tackle for Oregon State. I think, yo, watch out! Fawaga is likely the best run blocking offensive lineman in his draft right now. He's ready made fresh out the Amazon box. You plug him and play him and he's moving dudes around in the run game. And this is a game I like to play with Talisi Fawaga, right? Let me take my little circle tool. A game I like to play with Talisi Fawaga is a good old game of, okay, this is where dude once was. Okay. And then we're going to run the play. Don't forget where dude once was. And then we play a good old game of, all right, this is where dude is now. Okay. And, and one thing that we can always do in the run game and I, you know, I, I just, I just, I just remember my playing days that went into my coaching days. It's just a recurring thing that we always did in the run game. Hey, find the best dude and go behind him. Find the best dude and go behind him. So if this is the this is the direction that we're going, and this is a dude that's in your direct path, and you know Talisi Fawaga has to engage with him. Hey, man, if I'm the running back, I'm just gonna find Fawaga. I'm going to find Fuwaga because he's going to move people the hell out the way. Now, just because 61 didn't necessarily complete his block, that don't mean Fuwaga didn't, didn't complete his. But Vach, you only been showing Fuwaga versus defensive ends. Show him moving somebody big out the way. All right, cool. Don't worry about it. He's just going to move these big characters out the way too. Hey, hold on. Hold on wait, 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 wait. Let me get my circle too. Let's not get mistaken. A good old game of, all right, dude started right here. Let's see where we ended up. <laughs> we ended up way over here where where the second a gap was. So, okay. So, Hey, Hey, hey don't, don't tell me, don't tell me that for can't move big people too. Cause he can move big, small, medium, medium, whatever size you got. So at least for can move him out the way. And then I wanted to involve this play here. Cause I just wanted y'all to get a good look at how smooth, uh, Fuwaga's feet are, how light they are. He, he, you know, not a whole bunch of lumbering movement, not a whole bunch of wasted movements here. Now, if he does have any places that he that he can improve, it would be in the passing game, but it's not like the athleticism is a problem. It just comes down to nuance and things of that nature. There are some players that are a little more nuanced than him, but hey, if he got the athleticism and he got the size and he got the power, hey, he can win games. And, and, you know, when I say games, I mean fights. He can win versus these edge players, right? But they'll be ugly wins because it may not be as technical as you want. But just like I said in some, in some previous videos, I just want to see how you win. If you can win ugly, it's up to the coaches to make you win pretty. Take a look at this play. You got Talise Fuwag at the right tackle. And I think what's important about this play, first of all, he's going to be blocking number zero. And they're at about an even leverage right now, okay? They're, they're pretty much head up on each other. But the play is going this away to the defense's right. So if the play is going to the to the defense's right, that means number zero, the linebacker here, he's going to go to the right. So if you're Talisi Fuwaga, one thing he has to understand is his own athleticism and, and his ability to travel, but he also has to understand the angle that this linebacker is going, right? Talisi Fuwaga just can't work upfield like this uh, because that, that wouldn't be good for his health. He wouldn't be in a advantageous position to deal uh, with the nonsense that number zero can bring. But instead, at least Fuwag is going to work at this at this beautiful angle. But not only is he working at that angle, but just take a look at the athleticism that he uses to get there. Uh, there's Fuwag one more time, and boom! Look at how he gets to the second level to get number zero up off him. And you basically cutting the defense down into into thirds here. Okay, here's one third of it. This combo is probably going to be another third, and then those guys are going to work for that third. Okay, so. Just being able to break this defense down into thirds. Both of you guys are even in terms of leverage, but before number zero can even get going, man, Talise Fuaga cut that thing off so nicely. Boom, boom, boom. Upfield, stop moving. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just, it's just, it's just fantastic, man. The uh the offense is running this this sweep here. Let me go back and see what the offense is. I was really just looking at Fuaga here. So they're gonna run this wide toss here, and hey, we need our, our blockers going wide because defenders are going wide and just Talisi Fuaga 
so good on the second level, so good blocking on screens because he has the athleticism and the awareness. Plus, he's bigger and nastier than these skinny people's sons. So it is what it is. Hey, man, Talese Fuaga is one of my favorite offensive linemen. He may be O-tackle one for me. Oops. Holla, y'all. Peace.